Wild Swans is a compelling and powerful memoir by Jung Chang, which tells the story of three generations of women in her family, spanning over 100 years of Chinese history. The book provides a detailed account of the cultural, social, and political transformations that shaped China during the 20th century, and the impact of those changes on the lives of ordinary people. The narrative is structured around the lives of Chang's grandmother, mother, and herself. Each woman represents a distinct period in Chinese history and reflects the political and social climate of the time. The book begins with Chang's grandmother, Yu Fang, who was born in the late 19th century and lived through the turbulent years of the Boxer Rebellion, the fall of the Qing Dynasty, and the rise of the Republic of China. Through her story, we learn about the rigid social hierarchy of the time, the practice of foot binding, and the struggle for women's rights. Chang's mother, Bao Qin, came of age during the Japanese occupation of China and the civil war between the communist and nationalist forces. She was a member of the Communist Party and worked as a propagandist for the regime, but was later persecuted during the Cultural Revolution, along with her daughter. Through Bao Qin's story, we see the fervent idealism of the Communist Party, as well as its brutality and disregard for individual freedoms. The final part of the book is Chang's own account of growing up during the Cultural Revolution and her eventual departure from China. Her experiences as a Red Guard, her disillusionment with the Communist Party, and her eventual decision to leave China provide a personal and intimate perspective on one of the most tumultuous periods in Chinese history. Throughout the book, Chang provides vivid descriptions of the physical and emotional hardships endured by her family and others during the various periods of Chinese history. The narrative is marked by a sense of loss and trauma, as each woman faces significant challenges and tragedies in her life. However, the book is also a testament to the resilience and courage of these women in the face of overwhelming adversity. One of the central themes of the book is the role of women in Chinese society. Chang provides a nuanced and complex view of the experiences of women in different historical periods, highlighting both the constraints and the opportunities available to them. Foot binding, arranged marriages, and the expectation of obedience and subservience are depicted as powerful tools of patriarchal control, yet women are also shown to be resourceful and resilient in the face of these obstacles. Another theme that runs throughout the book is the relationship between the individual and the state. Chang offers a critical analysis of the Communist Party's attempts to mold and control every aspect of Chinese society, and the devastating consequences of such efforts. However, the book is also a testament to the power of individual agency and resistance in the face of oppressive political regimes. Wild Swans is a masterful work of historical and personal narrative, providing a detailed and intimate view of Chinese society during the 20th century. Chang's storytelling is vivid and engaging, and her insights into the cultural and political context of her family's experiences are incisive and thought-provoking. The book is a powerful reminder of the importance of personal agency and resilience in the face of overwhelming adversity, and a tribute to the courage and tenacity of the women who lived through some of the most tumultuous periods of Chinese history.